Rise News' Kelsey Miter is here in the studio now to tell us more about the special wood used in the process. Kelsey. Well, Frank, this wood comes from a tea plant, and it's long been in South Africa a fan favorite in South Africa for making healthier tea. But now wineries are starting to use the wood chips to from the tea plant to make their healthier wines and all of the delicious flavor. Winemakers in South Africa are providing new and innovative ways to get wine to market. One company, Audacio Wines, new creation is capturing the health-conscious wine connoisseur. I see it being drunk all over the world. Uh, we registered the patent in 83 jurisdictions worldwide. We're already exporting the wine to China and uh, it definitely will be drunk all over the world. This wine comes with one major difference. The grapes picked are processed using rooibos wood chips instead of traditional oak. Rooibos has been a source of a popular tea in South Africa for centuries. And in the past decade, the wood has captured the taste buds of many around the world. The rooibos crop is, is exported. The rest is consumed um, on the African continent, of which the vast majority would be in South Africa. South Africa being the biggest rooibos consuming country in the world. This fairly new way of making wine has been especially good for organic winemakers. For some producers, the antioxidants are extracted from the wood during fermentation. As for the wine made by Adacia, it's not completely free of sulfur dioxide, just significantly reduced. But the economic opportunity created by this wine is just as great. It's going to have definite effects uh, in the global market. There's a huge advantage to the process. You know, and that changes the brand. It, it, it gives you a new, a new brand that uh, I think a health conscious world looks at. Now, certainly it's a healthier option, but the bottles still contain alcohol or it wouldn't be wine. As for economic side of things, the bottle of this wine will run you here in the States about $17. And according to sales figures by the company, people love it, Frank. And as you heard there in the story, it's selling out strongly in China and they're hoping in other parts of the world as well. Can I say I'll drink to that? I will drink to that as well. Okay, thank you, Kelsey, for that report.